Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and I am here with my third layout using the hip kit for the month of November. And I am scrapbooking Halloween. However, <laughs> it's not going to look like a Halloween page. And that is because my girls went as Anna and Elsa from Frozen. And when I saw that snowflake paper in the kit, I just 100% knew that was going to be happening. Um, it was just a little bit too perfect. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to back that paper with um, the really gorgeous wood grain paper from Maggie Holmes open book collection and that came from the October kit. Now you're probably cringing because I did not cut out the middle of it. <laughs> I used the whole back. Uh, the reason and Honestly, I would be cringing too if I was watching this, but the reason I did that is because that is my third piece of that paper. So I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I've used that paper um, in a couple of other layouts. So I was okay using the entire thing and just, you know, being okay with that because I have two other sheets of it that I have used. So no worries. It was not wasted. I actually have an extra sheet in my um, December daily that I'm going to, you know, be using as well so I'm, I'm okay okay this is me making my own flare badges now these are not professional flare badges they are they're very thin all they are were uh, the little um, circle pieces I'll show you I showed you how thin they were there um, they're little um, just circle images that a friend of mine had um, created and emailed to me so those are not something you can like buy anywhere um, she emailed them to me, I printed them out on my printer, and then I went and got some one inch circle epoxy stickers from Hobby Lobby, and all you do is you just punch it out with, you know, I used a one inch punch, punched it out, and then put the sticker over it. So it's, um, definitely it has a look of a flare badge without, I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe. <laughs> it's very similar to a flare badge, although it's not, you know, super thick and, you know, Anyway, it's not professional by any means, but it's it's cute, and I, I do like it, and I have Anna and Elsa there now, so. Um, I'm actually thinking about doing a tutorial kind of thing on exactly how, um, I mean, you saw how I did it, but I'm thinking for um, my January, what am I trying to say? Um, layout a week. I think I'm going to do something about making flare badges, so. Um, I may do like a slow down tutorial where I'm talking about while I'm doing it. Um, okay, so while I was jabbering and trying to figure out what I was trying to say, um, let's see, the snowflake paper, let's start there, that is from Pebbles, and these um, little die cuts here, that's from a cut apart sheet, and uh, I can't remember if it's Ellie Studio or Pebbles, I think it might be Ellie Studio that those came from. Uh, because I cut it all apart, <laughs> and then I threw away the 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 um the branding trip, so I can't remember exactly who made that. It did come in the November hip kit, though. Um, so I'm just kind of layering a few things here and there. I took out a couple of wood veneers, and those are from LA Studio for sure. That came in the kit as well. Um, so I've got little snowflake. I'm kind of using it as a layering piece. Um, this is an epoxy sticker from Part in My Head from um, Freckled Fawn and it says so awesome and I put that up there not only for the color but for the sentiment as well and I'm just going to stick these little Anna and Elsa quote flare badges <laughs> next to the girls. Kaylin was Elsa and Layla was Anna obviously if you've seen the movie um, and I'm going to go ahead and stick these little snowflake wood veneers down next to them to kind of start a little bit of clustering there. Uh, I'm going to cut out these little cut aparts. Uh, first one says magical, second one says the best. I'm going to line those up next to my picture there and I'm going to do, um, that's where I'm going to do my journaling and put a little um, subtitle there as well. Okay, let's talk about my favorite thickers. Oh, I love these things so much. They are so beautiful. These are chipboard and um, Oh, I just love them. <laughs> They're so beautiful. They're really pretty uh, teal glitter, um, kind of a cursive, cursive font, and they are just gorgeous. 
Um, so my title is going to be Frozen Halloween, and I'm using these Ellie Studio um, smaller alphabets for the Halloween part. The LA Studio, the gray ones there, those did come in the kit. The teal glitter came from my stash. Um, I had the only, the other alphabets, the thickers that came in the kit were like candy cane, and I didn't really want to put candy cane on here. Um, it was a little too Christmassy for that. But I am using these gold puffy stickers from Evalicious, and I'm going to um, use six of these triangles here and kind of make little arrows pointing to the title. And I'm going to also use these um, again right here for a little subtitle and that's gonna say the best Elsa and Anna. I was actually really surprised when we went out trick-or-treating. I thought there were gonna be at least Elsas everywhere. We saw two other Elsas. Um, but I was actually really surprised. I thought there were going to be a lot more. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she was big last year because the movie came out um, last year, but I'm not sure. But I had the cutest ones. I was going to say. I did see a lot of my friends on Facebook. Their kids were Anna and Elsa, so that was kind of funny. I was like, oh, so we're totally original. <laughs> Whatever. They were happy. So I put um, a couple more of these gold puffy stickers, um, a camera, a heart, a little arrow that says here pointing towards the picture, and I'm using some of these glitter enamel dots. Those are from Freckled Fawn, um, and those are from my stash. So pretty. And I had pulled a few things out, a few other things from Freckled Fawn out, but I didn't end up using anything else. I think I just used the epoxy sticker and the enamel dots and that's it. So I'm drawing my lines here for my journaling because the snowflakes are a very busy pattern and I didn't want my journaling to go all over the place. So um, I made sure I drew, I drew lines so it kind of helps it stand out a little bit. And I am saying that when the girls saw these costumes at Walmart, they immediately begged for them. <laughs> and they were just too cute to pass up. And I'm trying to think of what else I do here. Besides watching the phones. Oh yes, um, I do use some of these uh, gem stars and these are from Freckled Fawn and I'm going to um, kind of make little photo, not photo, um, little corners in the top left hand and the bottom right hand corner here just to kind of help ground it a little bit as far as, you know, bringing your eye more towards the center. And then I'm going to scatter a few of these around as well in some of my clusters like around my tile here and uh, put one up on the snowflake. Didn't do too much, just a couple here and there. I think I look at it for a few minutes and decide I am good. And yes, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them for me. I read all of your comments and I love and appreciate all of them. And um, that's it. So I'm going to be back again really soon with some more layouts for you. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you again real soon. Here comes some close-ups for you. Bye.